Do not see the wood for the trees is an idiom that means to be unable to get a general understanding of a situation because you are too worried about the details. So let's dive in and find out about the history and the origins of this. Okay. The origin of this idiom can almost certainly be traced back to the 16th century in England. It is thought to have evolved from a much older proverb which was recorded as can't see the wood for the trees and it was in 1546 in John Haywood's uh, book called Proverbs. Haywood was a playwright, author and was known for collecting and popularising many proverbs and idioms of the time during the Tudor period. The expression refers to the idea that when you are walking in a dense forest, the individual trees can obstruct your view of the entire forest. Similarly, when someone is too preoccupied with minor details or individual elements, they may miss the broader patterns or the main ideas. It is a warning to remember not to lose sight of the bigger picture or the main goal by becoming overly focused on smaller, less significant aspects. The idiom has stood the test of time and remains relevant in various contexts from everyday conversations to more serious matters such as problem solving in business, politics and other fields where gaining a comprehensive perspective is crucial. So let's look at the six example sentences of how we can use this idiom. Sarah was focused on perfecting every word of her essay, but she failed to see the wood for the trees and missed the main theme of the assignment. The board members argued endlessly over minor policy details, completely missing the wood for the trees, the urgent need to address the declining company performance. The politician became so fixated on attacking their opponent's minor flaws that they failed to see the wood for the trees, rejecting to address more pressing issues facing the country. As a teacher, it is essential to prioritise the main learning objectives. Otherwise, students might get lost in the irrelevant details and not see the wood for the trees in their studies. The team spent hours arguing over font styles and colour schemes for their presentation slides, losing sight of the wood for the trees, the actual content and message they wanted to convey. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed this idiom and can now find ways to use it in your everyday conversation. If you enjoyed and would like to see more, Please subscribe and if there are any idioms you would like me to talk about and its origin and history, please leave the idiom in the comments below. Well, I will see you on the flip side.